Tony the taxi's in a bad way. He's sad and lost and can't find his way. Amber, Amber, can you bring Tony to Gecko's garage? I think his sat-nav might be broken and he doesn't know how to find us. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vi- Hang on a minute. Where's Tony? Amber, you've lost him. This looks like a job for Super Mechanical. Go, go, Super Mechanical! Super Mechanical's camera way up high. We have our very own eyes in the sky. Let's use this view to guide our friend and hope we have a happy end. Can you see Tony anywhere? Yes, there he is, down at Puppy Park. Tony, Tony, can you hear me, Tony? We're going to direct you to Gecko's garage. Are you ready? Tony, drive along the road until you reach a turning. Now, should Tony go left or right? Do you know? That's it, Tony. You need to turn left. Where does he need to go now? Left to number zoo? Or right to number farm? Or straight on? That's it, Tony. Go straight on. Now where should he go? Left to nursery rhyme lane? Straight on to the train station? Or right to Gecko's garage? Turn right to Gecko's garage. Here he is. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello, Tony. You've made it at last. Let's get that sat-nav fixed so that you can find your way round again. Go, go, Mechanicals! That sat-nav looks in a very bad state. So here's a new one, so you won't be late. Hello, Tony. Where would you like to go? There, all sorted. Now you should be able to find your way. Shall we try it out? OK, Tony. Let's go on a trip around town. Take us to Number Farm, please. Calculating route. Turn right. Arriving at Number Farm. Hello, Farmer George. Is it a busy day on the farm? Now let's visit the pups at Puppy Park. Calculating route. Straight on. Turn left. Arriving at Puppy Park. They look like they're having lots of fun. Now, let's see if we can get to London. Calculating route. Straight on. Arriving at the train station. Oh look, there's the friendly trains. Eddie, Teddy and Freddy. I wonder if they're off to London too. Straight on. I think we're almost there. Arriving into London. Ah, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. <laughs> Arriving at the airport. You have reached your destination. 
It looks like your new sat-nav is working really well, Tony. You'll be able to take your passengers anywhere they need to go. Here comes Rebecca now. She looks unhappy. I wonder how we can help her. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. Hello, Rebecca. Let's take a look and see what we can do for you today. You've got cans, bottles, paper, plastic and food waste all jumbled up. What a mess. Everything should be sorted into different piles, but it looks like your crew keep forgetting what to put where. How many bins do you have? One, two, three, four, five. Your recycling is all a jumble, but really, there's no need to grumble. Let's put some signs up here and there to help your crew learn what goes where. One, metal. Two, glass. Three, paper. Four, plastic. Five, food waste. One, two, three, four, five. There, that's much better. Thanks to those labels, your crew will know where everything goes. Bye-bye, Rebecca. So glad we could help. A tree has fallen over the road and Amber the ambulance is stuck. It's lucky that Danny the digger was passing by. I'm sure he can help. Thank you, Danny. Come in, Amber, come in. It looks like a branch from that tree has hit your siren. Come over to Gecko's garage and we'll take a look at it for you. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello, Amber. That siren sounds terrible. You can't drive to emergencies sounding like that. Let's take a look at it. Go, go, mechanicals. It looks like your speaker's all smashed up. Let's replace it with a new one. Let's see if that's fixed your problem. <laughs> oh dear, that isn't right at all. We've made the siren louder, but it shouldn't sound like that. I'll get the mechanicals to look inside you to find out what has gone wrong. Let's try now. I think we'll have to try again. You've started clucking like a hen. Try it again, Amber. Goodness me, just listen now. We've got you mooing like a cow. How about now? Who knew this fault would be so big? Now you're oinking like a pig. Let's hope this does the trick. The problem must be really deep. You're sounding like a barring sheep. Try, try, try again. We tried again and now, of course, your siren neighs just like a horse.
one last try. After all those problems that we found, your siren makes the proper sound. We fixed you up as good as new. Now, you've an important job to do. Danny the Digger and his family are working very hard on the building site today. It rained last night and now the building site is covered in thick brown mud. Danny and his family look very tired and very muddy after all their hard work. You can't even tell who's who. I think it's time to get cleaned up. Danny, Caroline, Ryan, Celia. It's time to bring everyone over to Gecko's garage so that you can get all cleaned up in our truck and car wash. How many yucky, mucky construction vehicles need cleaning up today? Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten muddy construction vehicles needing a wash. Let's start cleaning you all up so that we can see who is who. One at a time, into the car wash. Smallest construction vehicle first. Our first vehicle's the smallest, but she more than pulls her weight. It's Florence the Fabulous Forklift. She helps lift pallets and crates. The second through is little too, but his talent never ends. Tiny Sid, the skid loader, loves helping all his friends. Three is waving her scooping arm. You really can't have missed her. It's Mia, the mini digger. She's Danny's little sister. Vehicle 4 won't let you down, even when things get bumpy. It's Rick, the reliable road roller. He stops roads being lumpy. I think we all know number 5, even if he's covered in gloop. That's right, it's Danny the Digger, with his brand new Extra Scoop. Number six is in a fix, all muddy, tired and glum. It's Celia, the cement mixer, with her churning, spinning drum. Number seven really makes a mess when he carries things around. Yes, it's Dylan the dump truck. Always tips stuff on the ground. And number eight loves breaking things. Always has a smashing time. It's Ryan the wrecking ball crane. So there's just two more left to rhyme. Our ninth friend is... Uh-oh! Oh dear, this is a problem. The two largest vehicles won't fit in our truck wash. They're far too big. We're going to have to wash them another way. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! Our ninth friend's too big for the truck wash. She's so giant there just wasn't room. 
It's Caroline, the mobile crane, with her telescopic boom. We've already cleaned up one dump truck, but now there is one other. George, the giant dump truck. He's Dylan's big, big brother. Fantastic. Everyone looks shiny and clean. Welcome to the stadium, where Max the Monster Truck is attempting a new world record for monster truck jumping. Max is going to attempt to jump over 10 vehicles and all his friends have come along to help out. Make the first jump Max as fast as you like, jumping over Millie the motorbike. One. He's so good at jumping, this truck will go far. High over Millie and Sophie's sports car. Two. Things are getting tense. There's no time to relax. He jumped Millie and Sophie and Tony the taxi. Yes, Max. Three. Over Millie, Soph, Tony, and Amber Ambulance. Four. Max is so brave, his stunts are very clever. But can he jump over our new tractor, Trevor? Go, go, mechanicals. Can't bear to look. The gap's getting bigger. Can he clear all these vehicles? Plus, Danny the digger. Six. You can do it, Max. I'm wishing you good luck. Let's watch you jump, Rebecca, the recycling truck. Seven. That's surely too many. Max is going to get stuck. Can he really leap Fiona the red fire truck? Eight. He'll manage this ninth jump with no kind of fuss. Watch as he leaps over Bobby the bus. Nine. He can't jump them all. Surely not. I'm so sorry. Not a motorbike, two cars, all those trucks. And a lorry. He's backing right up, revs his engine, and then look at him go! He's jumped over all ten! Well done, Max! You did it! I wasn't so sure you could do it, but you jumped over ten vehicles and set a new record. There's loads more amazing videos from Toddler Fun Learning. Just tap here to subscribe to the channel. And then tap here to watch more amazing videos. Bye.